Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. Are there any men out there who, like, actually want to get married and have kids? Where are they? They're at home with their wives and their kids. The ones who are not there yet, if I had to guess, I would say they're not looking for someone who can easily star in the new American Psycho movie. Good morning, y'all. I just woke up cackling because I saw someone reply to a comment on the TikTok of me talking about, like, you know, being a single woman nowadays. If it was a comment you saw in your dreams that made you wake up cackling, you know they don't really count, right? Anyway, what she's talking about is she cannot be feminine in a relationship because she needs a masculine man to make her feel more feminine. And she's single because she cannot be feminine in a relationship with a man that is not masculine enough. Fair point, I guess, but also the man and the relationship you saw in your dream don't count, right? And of course, being the a-hole that I am, I need to point this out. It's not feminine, is it? Why is it that you have flatmates in your 20s and then when you're 70 and your husband dies, you live on your own? Like, surely you'd get a few of your 70-year-old friends and you'd go flat share. Well, like, if I'm 35, I've just been divorced. I've got a few kids. Surely I'd move in with my other single friend and we'll be flatmates together raising my kids. Why is it not acceptable to flat share, like, when you're... Because oh. maybe regardless if they have their own kids or not, they can't be bothered to help raise yours because maybe they have their own stuff to worry about. I hear this a lot, especially on TikTok. Oh, but I struggle. Oh, but I have a hard time. Yeah, but I still don't care. And that's not saying you should not help your friends when they struggle, but there's so many stuff they can put on you before you say, you know what, I have my own past decision I worry about. Maybe you should worry about some of yours. Everyone got so bent out of shape when they found out that no, you will not actually be able to go husband hunting at the Home Depot on a Saturday at 9 a.m. Yes, there's fabulous men there, but you know what they're doing? They're getting their project materials to do the thing that their wife asked them to do that they've been putting off for two weeks. But what you are going to do is head over to Costco, okay? Go to Costco, specifically the meat section, because you know who's there? Eligible bachelors who are getting everything that they need for the barbecue that they're doing with Trout, Brad, and Sam next night on Sunday evening when they're going to be watching their football game okay here is why this is important number one these are men who know how to plan ahead okay they understand the importance of marination they're getting their meat early number two they understand a good deal okay they have their finances in order if they are shopping at costco three they know how to cook if they're buying in bulk, they clearly have some sort of friend. And lastly, they know how to use their resources wisely. Do you think that he really went out and got that Costco card himself? No, he didn't. It was his Christmas present from his mom. But he's using it. Win, 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 win. Feel free to invite me to your wedding when it works out. If it works out. Is this where we're at now? Husband hunting? What happened with don't need no man and I'm happier being single? And you ladies need to stop acting like we haven't seen a man before. Oh, where are all the good men? Everywhere? All around you? Why do you think those men from Costco teleport from their home to Costco and back. Problem is not you need to go husband hunting or that you can't find your future husband unless you go to Costco. Problem is you need to be the woman your future husband would want to marry. Just like I'm sure you want him to be the man you want to marry. I got rejected for the first time in my life. You guys know how I was looking for a man to spoil? Rotten. I found one. And guess what happened? Guess what I did, first of all? I think I told you guys. This woman doesn't exist. This is a fairy tale. I'm right here. And I gave him my side of the bed. So whenever he woke up in the morning, he had the better view. I gave him hours of massages. I bought a rain machine for my apartment so he could sleep better. I was always on top. Not once did he do it for mine. I always tried to pick up the bill. I washed his back, literally. I put moisturizer on his face. I always big spooned. I bought him headphones when his over ears were broken. I was trying to order him ice cream because his blood sugar got low and I was asking him what flavor he wanted. He said, how will you stop waiting on me hand and foot? All of that. <laughs> Just for him to say he doesn't think we're compatible. 
Most men will agree that they will never be this lucky to have a woman like this. That guy fumbled hard, but I'm truly wondering why. Let me know, guys, if you have any theories. Because she's an OF girl. And because she's an OF girl, I really doubt anything she said was real. She's just baiting men from her TikTok to her OF account. And even if anything she said was real, I think that kind of makes it worse. She was the big spoon. If that means what I think it means, she was emasculating him at every step. She was always on top and he never did her from behind. Did he ask for that? She was putting moisturizer on his face. Did he ask for that? Regardless, even if you don't think there's something that wrong with the message, the problem in this case is the messenger. Guys, I literally came to Target to get the Celsius's. That's it. And I find the finest man, bro. He's walking around with this like backpack on. I'll try to find him, bro. I'm actually so embarrassed. If he's around, this is actually so embarrassing. So have to be quiet. Guys, I'm so nervous. He's so fine. I've been walking around for like five minutes and I cannot. I'm just gonna stand in the candy aisle and pretend I'm looking at something until I like maybe see him. But bro, if I if he left, I'm actually gonna cry because I think he's the love of my life. I think I hear him talking, guys. Stop. This is an actually. I'm pretend that I'm on the phone, okay? Guys, you're my best friend with this in this section right now. I'm gonna pretend that we're literally on the phone. He's literally behind me right now. Literally behind me right now, and I don't know what to do. But he's freaking out. I'm gonna like FaceTime someone or something. I don't know. Okay, I literally was doing the Kenya for this long and got this, but I didn't see him at the orange right now. Yep, I'm gonna stop her right here because then she shows the guy and she also shares the place they were both at with the address and everything and I'm not gonna do that to him. She also asked on TikTok for her followers to help her out with finding the man. Is this acceptable behavior now from the same ones who yell at men to not approach them? What exactly makes it okay waiting in the candy aisle for him to circle around? Since that's acceptable now, do I just not buy a white van and fill that up with candies? And then you can yell out even more about how men should not have that behavior in public. I keep seeing these TikToks where girls are saying, I can't stand seeing a pretty girl with an ugly guy. But the real question is, why does that bother you? Is it because the beautiful man you're hooking up with is treating you horribly and you know she's probably treated 10 times better because she doesn't value appearance? Is that why it bugs you? Because while you picked looks, you settled on the personality, but she decided to wake up every day and get treated like a queen and then she fell more and more in love with him and now she thinks he's perfect. Well, there is that and there's also the fact that they can't even pull the ugly guy for more than one night. All they've got left now is spare time to complain about someone else's boyfriend and a little bit of envy and jealousy, of course. Most people who work in dangerous workplaces are men. Most people who fight in war are men. And who set that system up? Oh, I love this one. She's so proud of herself, she even said on her video, she ate. I don't know what she ate, but I don't think it was anything good. Who set that system up? Men did. Because like he said, men needed to work those dangerous jobs so you don't have to. They wanted to keep you safe inside your home and you saw that as they wanted to keep you locked in the kitchen. But hey, nowadays you don't have to worry about that. All you have to do is worry about minimum wage while serving fries to others. So I frequently tell people that I'm an entrepreneur and they're like, oh, what do you do? And I tell them what I do and they're like, that is not entrepreneurship. And I always have to explain, well, what do you call someone who owns a shop on Amazon? They're like, oh, well, they own a store, so they're an entrepreneur. So what I do is entrepreneurship. I have a product. I'm selling it on a platform entrepreneurship i see no difference and they're like well no that's different it doesn't really matter if you call yourself a businesswoman you're still an oaf girl whatever makes you happy right the only question i have is why does it bother you so much to say you're an oaf girl you're supposed to be the one who doesn't see anything wrong with what you do that is who you are own it water is not hydrated or does not have hydrogen in it don't ever help your kids with homework or you're gonna destroy their future but anyway this is gonna be it for today as always i do hope you enjoyed it if you didn't i still appreciate you for making it this far thank you all so much for watching stay safe and i will see you in the next one